the board exams are about to begin and now let's see what is the change in the marking scheme and the exam pattern this year basically till last year the number of questions were less this year the cbse has changed the exam pattern and the number of questions have become more with some more changes now what happened in the previous years in the previous years what i used to hear from my students was that ma'am the paper was very lengthy we couldn't complete it why the paper was lengthy there could be one or more possible reasons for it usually the students have the tendency that whatever question they know full they will keep on writing about that question even if that question is for one mark or four mark they don't care they attempt it like that it is of a six mark questions only so the question paper was termed as to be lengthy also what happened in the last year in the previous year some students complained that the question paper was actually very lengthy by actually very lengthy i mean to say that they told that the four mark questions which were there in the question paper were actually so lengthy that they should have been put in the six marks question segment so that means the overall paper could not be completed in 3 hours and the students found out that there should be a change in the exam pattern although not only last year but in some previous year also the same story happened so probably because of this reason only or because of many other reasons which we do not find to discuss now is that now the cbsc has changed the exam pattern so the number of marks if you say one mark questions earlier the old format had six one mark questions but now it has only four one mark questions so only four one markers are there in the paper now two mark questions two mark questions in the old format there weren't any two mark questions but now the cbsc has introduced the two mark questions so now you'll be having two mark questions also in your examination which are of 16 marks because eight questions in the two mark segment means two eights are that is 16 next four markers there were four markers 13 four markers used to come in exam which is a very much four 13s is 52 52 marks were earlier devoted to four mark questions but now it is only 11 so now the number of questions in the four markers have dropped down number of questions in the one markers have dropped down even the number of questions in the six markers were earlier seven but now it is only six so even that has dropped down so that means what that means they have dropped down one or two questions from each segment and have introduced certain two markers so what could be the possible reason and how this could benefit us the possible reason could be the length of the question paper now how it can benefit us definitely the question paper length and the solutions that you would be doing one mark two marks will not take much time only time consuming would be now four and six markers which are less in number as compared to the previous ones so what you can expect in the question paper question number 1 to 4 one mark question number 5 to 12 two mark each question number 13 to 23 four mark each and question number 24 to 29 it is for six marks so that means the total number of questions which were earlier 26 has been increased to 29 now one important thing that i need to tell you that earlier what students used to do they used to focus only on one line questions for one mark and long questions for four and six the intermediate question length questions they used to just ignore because that will not come in four mark you will have lengthy questions in six mark you will have lengthy questions in one mark you will have very short questions so the short questions technically the student used to leave because that will not come in the question paper but this time you have two markers also so you have to focus on the short questions also because that is also very much needed hence one has to not leave any topic of any chapter and also focus on one thing that time management is very important it is in your hands how do you manage time for your question paper for managing time you know that one has to devote whatever marking scheme is there according to that you have to write your answer suppose the question is for four mark definitely you will follow all these step but if a lengthy question has come in two mark there is no need to follow all these step you can skip some steps and you can show some important steps 
that is how judicially and wisely you do your question paper in the limited time frame otherwise even this new exam pattern will not be beneficial and you will even leave your paper in this exam pattern so all the best get going with your preparation and do practice some mocks on this new exam pattern so that you are well very much familiar and well acquainted with this pattern